Hello and welcome to Alumni Gym. This is your host, L.C. Newton, and today we have some a beautiful matchup today against the Georgetown Tigers and the Miami Middletown Thunderhawks. The Tigers are coming off of a 0-2 conference play for the first time in nine years. They still remain at number three in the country, and they are looking great and looking to bounce back after a few tough losses against this Miami team, Miami, Ohio, that is. Jabrion Spikes has been playing out of his mind as of late. He had a 19-point performance followed by a above 20-point performance. And he's looking to continue his success on the court. And for those wondering, head coach Chris Briggs, who's been a phenomenal head coach throughout his 13-year tenure at Georgetown, will not be coaching today. He is still serving out his ejection from the previous game, and that means that Rodney Haddix will be stepping in as the temporary head coach for this game tonight. I was also informed that Rashad Bishop of the Georgetown Tigers got a chipped tooth, so he will not be playing in tonight's game as well. I think they will be fine without him, however. The Thunderhawks have not had a great start to the season. And this Georgetown team should be motivated to bounce back after the loss to Cumberland away and the loss against Lindsey Wilson on their home floor. Looking to find their stride before conference play continues. The number three Tigers will surely drop down a little bit in the standings. We'll see exactly how far they drop, but they are definitely one of the top ten teams in the country. There's no question about that. We are now a minute and 20 seconds away from tip-off. If the Tigers take care of business tonight in the first half, we should be able to see a lot of players who don't normally get minutes, which is always fun to see. Some of the freshmen will get some opportunities that they will not usually get if all things go as planned for Georgetown. Georgetown huddling up near the Tiger for their pregame pep talk slash prayer. Georgetown knows the sense of urgency that they have to have tonight. And they would love to make the assistant coach, Rodney Haddix, proud as he fills some big shoes left by Chris Briggs. And here are your Georgetown cheerleaders. The starters for your Thunderhawks, number three, Jalen Razor. Number 12, Terry Green, the 5'7 freshman. Number 23, Jesse Allman, the junior. And number 30, Alex Wilkins. 
And number 32, Jamal Crusoe. And for your Georgetown College starters, here we go. At forward from Zanesville, Ohio, number zero, Cam Brooks Harris. From Louisville, Kentucky, number three, Jaquay Wales, the starting point guard. And number four, Jabrion Spikes, who's been on fire as of late, looking to continue his good stretch of basketball. And now starting number 14, Gavin Stevens. The redshirt freshman. And of course, Kyron Jones, number 21, the senior from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Kyron Jones holds all types of records here at Georgetown College. And the Tigers are in shape and looking ready to dominate here on the floor tonight. And the old Thunderhawks from Miami Middletown could be in for a long one. By my count, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven players wearing a jersey tonight. So they will surely get a lot of burn and a lot of run tonight. And we'll see if they can hold the Georgetown Tigers. Cam Brooks Harris will be Jumping off on the tip against Alex Wilkins. 6'6 six, six against 6'7. Six, Cam Brooks Harris grabs the tip easily. And Jaquay Wells will get us started here in Alumni Gym. Wells over to Jones. Over to Stevens. Stevens finds Jones down low, working in. Back over to Spikes. Stevens, great find down low. Cam Brooks Harris lays it up, and the Tigers are on the board first. And they're pressing. Good defense there by CBH. Cam Brooks Harris driving. Draws the foul on the way to the cup. And that's two free throws for CBH. And a strong way to start set the tone here early. And alumni gym. Last couple games have not gone exactly the way that they have wanted to. The Tigers looking to bounce back. And Cam's got three already here in the opening minute. Make that four for Brooks Harris. Perfect at the line so far. Tigers scrambling defensively. Somebody's open in the corner. No good on the three-point attempt. Offensive rebound by 30. Terry Green working on Spikes. Spikes, nowhere to go for him. Spikes playing good defense. Chucks up the layup and no good. Rebound Steven. Spikes headed the other way. Spikes finds an open shooter. Wales has a man in the air. Stevens wide open. Left it short. And 30 driving to the cup. Lays it up. No good. Good defense there by the Tigers. Kyron Jones kicks it on the fast break. Wow. What a hesitation there by Jabrion Spikes. Left his man in the dust. Great move to the cup for Jabrion Spikes. And the Tigers are up 6-0 just like that. Unconventional bounce pass. Throws it up, and it's an air ball. And, oh, it got blocked away. The defense showing up so far for Georgetown. Jalen Roser driving. Nowhere to go. Roser bounces it inside. Off the glass, no good. Rebound, Stevens. Stevens headed the other way. Outlet pass to Jones. Jones driving over to Cam. He's wide open in the corner. Cam knocks it down in the corner. 
and he is money so far, has not missed a shot besides the free throw, and he's got nine by himself. Jalen Roser turns it over, and Jaquay Wells headed the other way. Kyron Jones. And Jaquay Wells decides to take it to the rim for the foul, and he will go to the line for two. Kyron Jones was trailing. I think he wanted that lob. And the Tigers remain perfect at the line. Wales knocks it down. And a 10-0 lead for the Tigers to start it off. Tigers are four for four from the free throw line. That was a point of emphasis after a rough free throw shooting day in their previous matchup. And the Thunderhawks cannot get a good shot off with this defense. Driving. Nowhere to go. They got to throw something up. Jalen Roser. Got a man in the air. Puts it up. No good. Great defensive possession there. And Kyron Jones is headed down the floor. Spikes. Finds Wales. The Tigers slow it down a bit. Wales drives it inside on the floater, no good. Rebound, Kyron Jones over to Stevens. Stevens driving, tough layup, no good. Spikes is there for the offensive board and he gets it for two. Timeout Miami Middleton and we'll be right back. And we're back here in Alumni Gym. The Thunder, Thunderhawks looking to get on the board for the first time in this game, currently down 13-0. Thanks to this Tigers defense, they have not been able to put up anything good. And another turnover there, and Spikes has a head of steam for the dunk. Jabrion Spikes throws it down. Continuing his phenomenal play as of late. In the month of January, Spikes has been on fire. Devon Jackson can't get anything to go. And a, oh, and a smoked layup. It was a good move to the rim, but no good on the layup. And Spikes is in trouble, finds Cam in the corner. Cam throws it up, and it's good. Cam Brooks-Harris has hit two threes, one in each corner. And he is locked in tonight, looking to make a statement. And it is 18-0. It is looking to be a long night for the Thunderhawks. And they're having trouble getting past the half court. And the Tigers are all over the passing lanes. Great steal there. Spikes, top of the key, three-pointer, and it's good. Spikes knocks it down from long range. And Jabrion has been playing phenomenal. Tigers just hounding defensively. Driving baseline and stepped out of bounds. It's going to be Georgetown's ball, and into the game comes Tommy Thomas for Gavin Stevens. 
who played some great minutes in his start. Thomas over to Spikes. Wales puts up a three. Jaquay knocks it down. And one. The potential four-point play for Jaquay Wales. And he'll go to the line. Everything going the Tigers' way to start this one. 24-0. And it is a bloodbath here in Alumni Gym. Make that 25-0, and the Tigers have been perfect from the free throw line. Will the Thunderhawks score? And who will it be to put them on the board? Driving to the cup, throws it, no good, and draws a foul. And finally, the Thunderhawks find themselves on the free throw line. And it's Jamel Crusoe, the 6'3 sophomore from North Ridge, who puts the Thunderhawks on the board. They got a point. End of the game comes number 11, Tay Dozier for Jaquay Wales. And perfect from the line is Jamel Crusoe. Kyron Jones. Back to Thomas. Thomas hesitates, driving. Oh, what a dish. Tommy Thomas with a long rebound. The shot clock reset. Spikes, driving, blocked. Great block there by number 30. That's Alex Wilkins, who got a hand on that shot attempt. Great defense by Thomas, forcing the turnover, and he's going the other way for the layup. And one, Tommy Thomas with the steal and the finish, and he'll go to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. And the first free throw miss for the Tigers. Certainly been improving their free throw shooting this game, at least. A good dish inside, and number 30, that's Alex Wilkins. He's got a block, and he's got a layup. Spikes turns it over and gets the block. Oh, my. Spikes swatted that one down hard like he was playing volleyball. End of the game is number two, Isaiah Mason for the Tigers. The step back three is no good. Long rebound. Thunderhawks. Jack up another three, and that is true, and look who it is. Again, it's Alex Wilkins. He's got five points and a block. A nice contested three-pointer there from Wilkins, and he's starting to heat up for the Thunderhawks. Spikes open for three. Spikes fires short. Long rebound, Thomas. And he's been doing all the dirty work so far. Isaiah Mason. Thomas left open again. Thomas fires. No good. Rebound Jones. He said, give me that. Jones to the cup, and he's got it. Too strong down low. That's too easy for Jones.
Spikes double teaming in the corner. Jacks up a three, no good. Rebound Isaiah Mason. Mason's got a man below the basket. Taking it all the way to the cup, left it short. Rebound Alex Wilkins. Thunderhawks headed the other way. Step back, got him in the air. No good on the three point attempt and rebound Thomas. Mason jab step, baseline, no good on the layup and the tip in is good for Kyron Jones. Getting the easy points down low again. That's his bread and butter. Aiden Nyken looking to check in for the Tigers along with Seth Johnson. The layup is no good for the Thunderhawks and Spikes is headed the other way. Thomas going baseline, jams it. Tommy Thomas throws it down. The emphatic slam. Getting these Tigers fans excited. Thunderhawks got to find something. Floater, no good. Spikes throws it up, and the alley oop layup. It'll go for Isaiah Mason. And Isaiah Mason right back on the fast break. He gets the steal and lays it up again. Heads up play by Mason. The Tigers have been all over those passing lanes. Devon Jackson working on Mason. Kicks it to Allman. Allman driving, lays it up, no good. Jones with a head of steam. Back to Jones and Dozier with a smart assist to Jones. They're playing team basketball right now on both sides of the floor. The Tigers, everything's going well for them. 39 to 7 with 9.41 remaining in the first half. We'll be right back. And we're back. Leading scorer so far for the Tigers are Cam Brooks-Harris, who is perfect from the field so far. He's hit two threes and got three field goals. And Jabrion Spikes, who's got nine already here in the first half. Thunderhawks looking to get something going against this hounding defense of the Georgetown Tigers. Open three in the corner, no good. Rebound Nyken. Nyken down low, spin move, lays it up. Nice bucket there by Aiden Nyken. Recognized he had a mismatch down low and took him in the post. Devon Jackson working on Mason. Devon 
gets it back, finds a man in the corner, and knocks down the three. Wow, what a bailout three there by Allman. Jesse Allman gets it to go, and what a shot at the buzzer for him. Seth Johnson has it in the corner. Johnson in trouble. He's got two on him, turns it over. Devon Jackson finds a man down low, and the Thunderhawks are getting some buckets to fall, and this time it's 23. That's Jesse Allman again. Had the three-pointer at the buzzer and has the nice move down low. Isaiah Mason wide open in the corner. No good. Rebound, Johnson. Johnson finds Dozier. Dozier with the floater, and that's too easy. Tay Dozier gets it to go. And a wild pass there, intercepted. It's Isaiah Mason headed the other way. He's got a few steals, and Nikens in the corner. Nikens, no good. And it's going to be Thunderhawks ball. Media timeout, and we'll be right back. Tigers up 43-12, 7 minutes, 30 seconds to go in the first half. Thunderhawks having a lot of trouble getting it past half court and dribbled off the foot. Turnover, Johnson on the drive. Missed the layup, fighting for the ball. Thought he got fouled. It'll be Georgetown ball either way. Dozier, over to Mason, Mason driving, puts it up, no good, rebound Dozier, and Dozier gets the easy floater, Georgetown definitely has the height advantage tonight, and it is just a battle for the Thunderhawks to even get past half, half court. Terry Green throws up a floater in and out. Thomas goes the other way. Finds Dozier in the corner. Dozier baseline. Kicks it to Johnson. Johnson wide open, and he gets it to go. Seth Johnson, the shooter, knocks it down. Oh, man, a tough hit there, and it's a charge. Aiden Nyken gets the call. And a great job by Nikon on setting his feet early and taking the tough hit. Hey. 
Johnson in the corner. Fires, and it's good. Seth Johnson's two for two from deep. Johnson knocks it down. Dribbled off the foot again. Thomas gets the outlet pass, throws it up. Alley-oop jam from Isaiah Mason. Thomas with the court vision. Good dish down low. Terry Green working on Johnson. Alex Wilkins sizes up Nyken. Dribbles into another defender and Dozier gets the steal. Dozier is going to have a free dunk. The points off turnovers have been a huge emphasis for the Tigers in this game, and they are dominating all facets of the game. And the jump ball is called. An immediate timeout, and we'll be back shortly. Five minutes to go. Stay tuned. The Thunderhawks trying to get something to go. They're down 55 to 12. And Cam Brooks Harris forces the turnover and Spikes gets the seal. Kyron Jones down low, too easy. Kyron Jones is too strong when he gets under the rim. Terry Green working on Wells. And the shot clock violation. The Thunderhawks not able to get a shot up and all credit to the Georgetown defense. Wales. Find spikes. Spikes. Wales driving to the cup. Gets it to go. Jaquay Wales, the speedster. Blows past his defender. Let's see if they can put a shot up this time. And blocked. Oh, and they call a foul. Foul beyond Brooks Harris. Mm. 
and some of the Georgetown players joking around with the officials. Cameron Jones with a big smile. He's having a good time out there. When you're up 59 to 13, it's hard not to have a good time. The Thunderhawks, however, have no answer for this Georgetown offense. Wales finds Cam Brooks Harris and fouled on his way to the rim. He had three defenders swiping. And that is the Thunderhawks' sixth team foul. Spikes will throw it in under the rim. Cam quickly fires for three and knocks it down. Elevates and strikes from the corner once again. His jump shot is looking pure tonight. And a quick timeout is called by the Thunderhawks. He got trapped in the corner and wanted to call a quick timeout. 2.48 remaining in the first half. We'll be right back. And blocked, it'll remain with the Thunderhawks. That was Kyron Jones with the stuff. And Ronnie Haddix looks real comfortable on that sideline for the Tigers. And Gavin pokes it away. Stevens running the other way, driving to the cup, and he gets fouled on his way to the rim. Stevens will head to the line for two. Kyron, jo Kyron Jones says, I was going down the middle and I was open. He wanted that rock. No good in the first free throw for Stevens. And knocks down the second. Terry Green finds himself in trouble and he throws it away. Cam Brooks Harris gets the easiest steal of his life. Finds Stevens. Stevens jab step, fires, way short. Stevens with a hustle play. And out of bounds, it'll be Thunderhawks ball. Terry Green working on Wales. 10 seconds on the shot clock. They got to put up something. Thunderhawks. Euro step and a good move there. And 31 gets it to go. Cam Brooks Harris finds Kyron Jones. Back to Harris. Wide open for three and knocks it down again. 
Cam Brooks Harris has been on fire from deep. And he has been money tonight. Swatted away by Gavin Stevens. Nothing easy for the Thunderhawks tonight. And end of the game comes Chad Omer, number 12 for J. Brion Spikes. And Gavin Stevens will get the foul on the reach in. Not a shooting foul, but a common foul. Jalen Razor throws it in. Back to Razor in the corner. Devon Jackson fires, blocked by Cam Brooks. Harris Stevens finds Harris up. High and free dunk for Cam. He throws it down. Cam Brooks Harris running the floor and making the defenders pay. The layup is good for Alex Wilkins. Chad Omer fires for the deuce, no good. Rebound Thunderhawks. And turns it over, another steal by Cam, and we got a foul down low. Away from the basketball. It was indeed an offensive foul. And Omer will be bringing it up the floor. Chad Omer with the head of steam. Omer kicks it to Stevens in the corner. Stevens fires. No good. Long rebound by Kyron Jones. 68-17, Tigers lead big at the half. And we'll be right back for the second half of action here soon. Stay tuned, Tiger Nation.
And welcome back to Alumni Gym. This is L.C. Newton, and here are the numbers from the first half. And uh, quite a few things jump off the stat sheet. First of all, for the Miami Middletown Thunderhawks, we have 17 turnovers. 17 first half turnovers. Only seven guys are getting to play for the Thunderhawks, so a much needed halftime break for them. And leading the way in points for them with seven points is Alex Wilkins, who's knocked down a three, had a few quick buckets. He's also got two rebounds, a block. So he's been the one shining spotlight for the Thunderhawks. For the Georgetown Tigers, we have Cam Brooks Harris, who's got 18 points, two blocks, two steals, and he is shooting 100% from the field. That's right, folks. Cam Brooks Harris has not missed tonight. Jaquay Wells, he's got eight points. Nine points for Jabrion Spikes with five assists as well and three steals for Jabrion Spikes. A total of 13 steals for the Tigers in the first half and five blocks to add to it. So quite the defensive numbers as well as 17 assists for the Tigers. So they're sharing the rock very well. 22 rebounds. They're just dominating in every facet of the game. Tigers shot 53% from the three-point line, which is pretty darn good, if you ask me, and 62% from the field. Let's see if the Tigers can keep up the dominant shooting performance. And let's see if Cam Brooks-Harris will continue his 100% shooting night. And we're back. Wales over to Spikes. Spikes throws it up for Stevens, and Stevens throws it down. What a way to set the tone for the second half. Keeping the foot on the gas pedal. Jalen Razor inside, and no good. Good defense there by Cam Brooks-Harris. Cam Brooks Harris crossing over, driving baseline, and steps out of bounds, and it's headed the other way. An uncharacteristic turnover from Cam. And he was looking for somebody to, di to dish it out to after his baseline drive. Couldn't find an open teammate. The Thunderhawks working it around the key, finally jacking up a three and knocking it down. That's Jalen Razor, the freshman at five foot eleven, knocking down the three pointer. Cam driving, create a little bit of separation off that step back. Spikes poked away. Good defense there by Alex Wilkins. Razor puts up the floater off the glass. No good. Rebound Jones. And Jones has a head of steam. Over to Cam. Cam fires for three. No good. First missed shot of the night for Cam Brooks-Harris. Cam again in the corner. This time, no good. Thunderhawks 
driving, kicking it out. Fakes the three, puts up the three, way short, air ball, nothing but net. And Cam Brooks Harris the other way, the score is 70 to 20. That's a 50 point lead for the Tigers and Cam turns it over again. Thunderhawks put up a layup, no good. And Spikes is going the other way. He's got Wales. Wales back to Spikes. Spikes, no good on the layup, but he draws the foul. And Spikes is headed to the line. Two turnovers for Cam, two missed threes. It has not been the first half that he has had. The astounding first half with 18 points and no missed field goal attempts. Spikes knocks down the first one. Into the game comes Tay Dozier for Cam Brooks Harris. And Spikes goes two for two. Thunderhawks are just passing it back and forth. Firing from three is Jalen Razor, and it's no good. Gavin Stevens gets it to Kyron Jones. Kyron Jones finds Wales in the corner. Wales top of the key, back to Stevens. Good ball movement by the Tigers, and Stevens cashes it from deep. Gavin Stevens with a smooth stroke from beyond the arc. And fouled on the way to the rim is Jamal Crusoe. Who heads to the line for two. Misses the first one off the back iron. And the second one is missed off the back iron as well. And the hustle steal by number three, Jalen Razor, showing some fight. And the good dish down low, no good there. But a nice hustle play by Razor nonetheless. And another turnover. And missing the dunk is Jamal Crusoe. Stevens poked away. The Tigers playing a little bit sloppy. Gavin Stevens from top of the key, short. Foul. And the Tigers got a platoon of people coming into the game. It's Tommy Thomas, Isaiah Mason, Aiden Nigan, and Seth Johnson. And Tay Dozier will remain, and that's the five on the court for the Tigers. Very comfortable lead, sitting at 75 to 20. Driving, throws up the layup, and he is fouled on the way to the rim. 31 will head to the line for two. That's Isaiah Mason's first foul. Knocks down that free throw. Thomas comfortably bringing it up the floor. Weaving in and out of the defenders, puts it up, no good. Rebound Thomas again. 
Dishes over to Johnson. Johnson finds Isaiah Mason spinning, throws it up, and it's good. What a shot there by Isaiah Mason. Jalen Razor. And the Thunderhawks look discombobulated on offense. Rebound Isaiah Mason. Johnson over to Thomas. The Tigers are sharing the rock. And the charge is drawn. And Aiden Nyken will get called for the charge. Firing from three, no good. Just a, a disaster, really, offensively for the Thunderhawks. And a steal there. And swatted away is Aiden Nyken, who gets the block. A good steal by Devon Jackson for the Thunderhawks. Showing a little bit of life defensively. Now the Thunderhawks seem to be running a play. Let's see if they can get something going here. And what a steal by Thomas. Thomas jams it home. Tommy Thomas with the relentless defense and the finish on the other end. Pokes away another one. Nearly a second steal. The Tigers are all over the passing lanes and swatted away again by Nyken. Dozier's got a head of steam. Dozier with the easy lay-in. And receiving some boos from his teammates. They wanted a high-flying jam on that fast break. Nonetheless, it's a timeout, and we'll be right back. with 12 minutes remaining. The score is 81-22, Tigers. The 
The Thunderhawks looking to run some kind of play. Jalen Razor turns it over. Nyken with the head of steam finds Mason for the easy layup and good court vision there by Nyken. Razor in the corner, and it's good. Jalen Razor knocks it down for the Thunderhawks. Tay Dozier making a move, and he is fouled on his way to the rim. Timeout on the floor. And we will be right back. And the alley-oop slam Aiden Nyken, my goodness, on his head. That's one way to respond out of the timeout. The inbounds alley-oop. And again in the passing lanes is the Georgetown Tigers. This time it's Isaiah Mason. Devon Jackson driving. Finds a man down low for the easy deuce. That's Eric Markwell, the 5'11 freshman, getting the bucket. Johnson driving, takes it to Mason in the corner. Thomas, no good there. And it's headed the other way for the Thunderhawks. And turned over again. Isaiah Mason with the lob too high off the backboard. And he'll get the rebound himself and lay it in. Not exactly how we drew it up, but he'll take it nonetheless. It is a 60-point lead for the Tigers. Another easy bucket down low. This time it's Alex Wilkins. And with nine minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Dozier in the corner. Mason fires from deep and it's an air ball. The Thunderhawks get some subs in. Number 12, Terry Green. And number 32, Jamel Crusoe. <laughs> 
Wilkins fires way off. Johnson headed the other way. Johnson finds Mason. Mason lays it in. Good find there by Seth Johnson. Tigers playing hard on both ends. Dozier gambles for the, for the steal, but no good. Thomas finds Isaiah Mason. Mason with the lob. Dozier with the alley-oop. The high-flying Dozier slams it down. Swatted away. Tay Dozier gets the block. And into the game comes the five starters. That's Cam Brooks, Harris, Gavin Stevens, Kyron Jones, Jaquay Wales, and of course, Jabrion Spikes. And throw it up, nothing good. Shot clock violation. And a frustrating night for the Thunderhawks. They're gonna have a long ride home back to Miami, Ohio. Spikes in the post, working on his man down low. Cam with a monster block and unfortunately a foul is called and they can't believe it that looked like all ball to me but the Thunderhawks will get two free throws out of it man Cam Brooks Harris really pinned him on the glass And the official saw some contact. <laughs> Tigers up 60. Spikes hands it off to Jones. Jones with the easy layup. And he thought he got fouled. Devon Jackson bringing it up the floor for the Thunderhawks. Spin move. And blocked again by Gavin Stevens. Nothing easy from this Georgetown D. Kyron Jones with the layup. Running the fast break. And scoring easily down low. Poked away by Spikes. This Georgetown defense have, has just been causing nightmares for the Thunderhawks. And Georgetown is outclassing them in every way possible. Fires for three, no good, rebound. It'll stay with the Thunderhawks. Chad Omer enters the game. And Joquay Wales will take a seat.
No good from three. Rebound Stevens. And Stevens passes it right to the defender just to get the block. He's got quite a few blocks in tonight's game. Omer with the assist to Cam Brooks Harris. And a timeout on the floor. Five minutes, 52 seconds remaining in the second half. 97 to 31. Will the Tigers break 100? Will the Thunderhawks break 40? Stay tuned. Thunderhawks put up a three, no good that time by Jalen Razor. And Omer gets the ball. Spikes turns it over. Thunderhawks headed the other way. Goes for the dunk in traffic and draws the foul. And 31 is not on my stat sheet. But what a resilient effort that was for the dunk. Logan Moore is his name. Logan Moore, number 31 for the Thunderhawks. Omer firing from three, no good. Rebound, rebound Jalen Razor. Poked away by Spikes. Spikes running the floor. The easy layup for Jabrion. And number 32, that's Jamel Crusoe, gets his defender in the air and completes the layup. Spikes driving baseline up and under. Once again, a smooth finish for Jabrion Spikes. Logan stepping back, locked. Mid-range jumper, no good. Rebound, Cam Brooks-Harris. 
And Omer running up the floor, spinning inside off the glass. A smooth spinning finish from Chad Omer. Jalen Razor fires from long range and knocks it down with a hand in his face. Jalen Razor with an unbelievable shot. Blocked by Cam Brooks Harris. Chad Omer with the head of steam. Spikes throws it up for the lob and the missed dunk by Gavin Stevens. Kyron Jones saves it. Cam top of the key. And it's good, Cam Brooks-Harris knocks down the three. And with a blowout like this, you sometimes wonder if we can get a running clock going. It got real ugly real fast for the Miami Middletown Thunderhawks. And they've had no response for this Georgetown team on either side of the floor. Jesse Allman driving, turns it over again. Dozier to the corner. Stevens fires from three. No good. Rebound Wilkins. Open in the corner and knocks it down. That's Jesse Allman. who cuts the lead to 66. Dozier over to Stevens. Stevens driving and short on the layup. Jalen Razor driving, no good. Rebound Stevens. Nyken headed the other way. Backing down his defender, finds Stevens who lays it up. And one minute remaining and 10 seconds. And the foul is called on the way to the rim. That'll send Jesse Allman to the line. Two shots. Allman rattles in the first. The Thunderhawks did indeed break 40 on that one. 41 to 108. And no good on the second. Rebound, Nikon. Officially one minute remaining. And the Tigers taking their time down the court. Thomas driving, lays it up. 110. Firing from three and knocking it down. That's number 23, Jesse Allman with three point shot. And the Tigers will dribble this one out. Oh, and going for the steal is Jalen Razor. Not giving up just yet. Three, two, and game over. Ah. 
110 to 44 is the final score. Georgetown dominating every aspect of the game. And an astounding game from Cam Brooks Harris, J. Brown Spikes, and company. And we'll see you next time here in Alumni Gym.